Excuse us. Are you going to be voting? How are you going to get more votes, sir? Go, go, go. Are you going to have more than 202 on the first ballot today? Are there any further concessions that you could see McCarthy even making to them at this point, or is it just they're looking for a head turn? Yeah, look, I mean, from what my understanding, you've got individual members demanding individual committees, right, at this point. We're a party of merit, of competition, of free market. We all have to compete uh, on our own merit and ideas for these positions. That's how it should be. Uh, and so I think if he gives any more, he's going to have a problem with the rest of us. Uh, so where this goes, I don't know, but I talked to Jim Jordan personally last night. He wants to be the chairman of judiciary. He wants to take on big tech, antitrust, uh, the pol uh, politicized FBI. We're ready to get to work. Personally for you, are you just going to keep voting McCarthy the entire time until he says that he's backing away? Or do you think like, that that's what we, I mean, we voted for McCarthy or 90 percent of us. Uh, but again, it's not about him. I mean, that's what we keep telling these 20. They're opposing the rest of us uh, and, and our will. And at the end of the day, you take a vote, uh, you make your case, you win or lose, and you move forward. And uh, that's why this is, it's unacceptable and it's frustrating. Is there any chance that you could end up voting for someone else as things change today? Everything's so As long good. as Kevin McCarthy's in the race, I'm voting for him. Gotcha. All right. Well, there are lots of conversations that have been ongoing. Uh, I think conversations are maturing. They're heading in the right direction, going very slowly. So I would just, uh, I would tell everybody not to draw too many conclusions from any developments in the next 24 hours, because I think what's going on on the surface is not always very indicative of what's going on behind the scenes. What about the... One thing, though, thank God they weren't in the majority on January 6th. That was the day you had to be organized to stave off what was happening, to save our democracy, to certify the election of the president. They didn't even vote for the certification when Republican um, officials from around the country confirmed uh, the validity of the vote. So it's, it's, I think, just some stepping back from who has the votes and whether they're going to get them. Let's just be courteous to the families on both sides of the aisle. I know you wanted this resolved expeditiously. Do you think it will happen today? And do you think Democrats will vote the president? How is it receiving? The Associated Press. Could I ask you a quick question to, about today? Um, I'm running to. Sure. How do you feel about everything going that has been kind of all over the place the last 24 hours? I mean, I think, you know, it's, it's unfortunate because the longer this takes, the longer it takes for us to be able to work for the American people. However, I think that this is pretty true to form in what happens when we elect Republican majorities to the House and to the Senate. We get government shutdowns, we get an inability to organize the House, we get complete dysfunction from just typical order because, you know, a lot of the Republican caucus simply does not believe in government, period. And this is their desired outcome.